to tonight's show. My name is Corey Wong. This is Corey and the Wong Notes. Today's episode is all about genre. What is genre? Does this show have a genre? Sure. It's kind of like our take on a variety show. Classic, sophisticated music for musicians. Will there be puppets? Um, probably not. Puppets are more for like kids shows, right? Okay, let's start What's the What's a kids show? And who are you? Well, you should know, right? You're just the puppet version of me. Am I? I thought you were the meat blob version of me. Oh. I guess it depends on how you look at it. <laughs> okay, let's start the show. Well, they're going to be your family soon, too. <laughs> and we'll have yet another musician in the family. <laughs> That's right, Elaine said, Mr. Comstock. Oh, you oh, please, call me Barry. Barry, I heard you play keyboards in a band. What kind of stuff do you guys do? <clears throat> you know what? Maybe let's not talk about genre at the dinner table. I, I like it. It's funny. I mean, what, do you, what do you play? New Age? Jazz? Classic rock? Um, uh, let me guess. Polka? Ska? Corey, I'm telling you this as a guest. We don't say that word in my home. What? Ska? Jesus. Look, Barry, just because you're miserable doesn't mean everyone else needs to be. It's happy, fun music. It's a bunch of white kids ripping off reggae and dancing like fools, and frankly, I'm embarrassed you like it. <laughs> Again. You confuse third wave ska punk with classic two-tone bands like the Specials, which you'd know if you ever talked to your wife! I like a message to you, Rudy. Stay out of this! Guys? Uh, guys, why don't we just take it down a notch? You want us to take it down a notch? Jeez. You know what I'd like to take down a notch? Hmm. That awful dubstep you're bumping at 6 a.m. <laughs> each morning! Yeah, don't you think you're a little bit old to be listening to Skrillex? Wait, dubstep? I listen to grime, which is a very different thing. So I'm sorry I disturbed you while you were working on your Limp Biscuit fan art. Well, people on Tumblr really like it, eh? <laughs> okay, Dad. What is this? The early 2000s? You shut your mouth! Papa Roach's new album's coming out this year, and I personally hear very good things! No, no, there is no way you've heard very good things because nobody has ever seen You're a 50 Papa Roach you in his with a puddle of mud poster in your office! We need bands like Puddle of Mud now more than it's ever. It's time to move on, Barry! Hey, hey. What? what? What do you guys think about politics? Well, uh, I'm an anarcho-communist myself. <laughs> and I wish Reagan was on his 10th term again. <laughs> and I'm a Green Party libertarian, but well, we don't let politics come between us. No. no. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Would you like a second helping of anybody? I'm good.
amazing guest saxophone player, Grace Kelly, couldn't be here in person today. But thanks to cutting edge VR technology, you won't even know she's actually not here. Grace? Yeah, over here. That's the top. Yeah. All right, all right. Grace, thanks so much for joining hey, us. Corey? Corey? Yeah, yeah. Are you there? Grace, can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. Corey, I think you're muted. Hello? Grace, can you hear Corey, me? Corey, I think you're muted. Yeah. Am I muted? <laughs> all right. Grace Kelly, thank you for being with us today. Now, today's episode is all about genre. Okay, I have a question. We all know how to play within our own genre. But I want to know, how do you approach playing music outside of your own genre? I guess a lot of times when I'm learning about genres and what the saxophone can fit into and what, I, what kind of like bends my idea of what works is when I'm collaborating with other people. What's a good example of that? Well, you know, our dear friend Eddie Barbash is just such a freaking insane musician and saxophonist and I gotta say like when I was playing in the house band um, led by John Batiste Late Show with Stephen Colbert yeah playing next to Eddie the way he would approach the instrument especially when playing his bluegrass sax thing was so killing another buddy of mine Leo P has really developed like a tech a techno sax style where he has this crazy sound that he makes on the horn and he developed it from a sound of a, from a saw, like a physical saw, and then wanted to, to blow it up. And when I play next to him, too, I'm like, I have to approach this in a very different way. Yeah. Oh, I definitely haven't practiced that. I didn't know it could work like that. And somehow we're making something new. Totally. Okay, the first time I ever saw you play was a viral video going around of you as a teenager shredding bebop and traditional jazz lines. Fast forward a couple years, it's been fun to see you grow into playing more of an R&B and funk thing, but still weaving in all of your jazz harmony, your jazz tradition. How have you worked on developing your voice since those viral videos of you as a teenager shredding jazz lines with Lee Konitz? Well, I think at the heart of who I am, I am a jazz baby and a bebop baby. <laughs> I've spent so much time and have so much love for learning Charlie Parker and bebop saxophone and you know, um, my mentors, Phil Woods, yeah. Lee Konitz, rest in peace. Something that's just so hip about being able to bring, you know, bebop language on top of groove and all of that, and it, it feels very at home for me. So as I continue to deepen my artistic voice and try out different musical landscapes, I have that to hold on to because it's it's what my ears know and what, what I sing in my heart. and. And so I always think there's a part of that, that bebop jazz in there. It's been really fun to collaborate with you and have you join us for the last Fearless Flyers record. That was so amazing. So thank you, Grace, for being with us. Corey, it is such a pleasure. I'm such a huge fan, and I'm just so pumped that we finally have made music together and know each other. And thank you so much for having me on your show. This is awesome. Hey, can you give me an E? Sure thing! Thanks. <laughs> Big thanks to Grace Kelly for being with us. We'll see you next time! <laughs>